Hello, everybody. Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, with a PSA. Um, you know, I, I talked to many people uh, via the poll that I put out on my page um, or in a video. Uh, talked to some people in person. Talked to some people in comments. You know about the the change that has come to the United States Mint. And long story short, they want more money, right? Um, and the the topic that it really interested me was actually these Morgan and Peace dollars that they put out. And you remember these right here? Um, you know, now they're triple nine fine. They're not like the classic 90%, uh, you know, just like before where they're also not even an ounce of silver. Uh, they decided that, you know, just the regular uncirculated coinage, they need, it's like in the nineties, right? What is it like $95, $91, whatever it is, um, each for these right here, which is an increased price of about $15 from the last time these were available. And so it just came as a, a little bit of a, a frustration to many of us who have already seen the price increase from before. And we were like, what, like, why? Like, what are you talking about? And their excuse was that it's because, you know, silver's gone up. It's gone up a few dollars and they have to justify it by raising the price $15 for us. For again, again, if you notice this right here, look how much silver's in this thing. Huh? Huh? 0.858 of a troy ounce of actual silver in there. So not even an ounce of silver. And they've increased the price by $15. I mean, that's like half the price of an ounce of silver. So the math ain't math, ladies and gentlemen. There's something, something fishy right here. Some people have said, oh, maybe, you know, the United States Mint knows something. Maybe they know that the price is going to skyrocket soon. So they got to justify it now, right? Well, they've already got their, you know, allocated amount of silver for these new 2024 Morgan and Peace dollar on circulated coins. That's already there. Likely, uh, you know, when I'm making this video, which is a few days before the actual release, they're actually already completed and packed up and just ready to be shipped off to whoever buys them, right? I, I'm sure the United States Mint did that, have them just ready to go already. Uh, but, you know, I don't, I don't understand why you raise the price now. It's likely for the next batch of silver that's coming out for sure, but it's, it's a greedy approach right there. And it's hurting the people that are your, um, your customers and who have already been on the fence, by the way, United States men, who've already been on the fence for many years about your products. I don't know, maybe because uh, things are like very lackluster. Uh, you know what? Speaking of lackluster, I just happened to pop out the 2021 Denver, which we all know that if you have a perfect Denver, you know, MS-70, it's actually worth a lot of money. You know why? Because these were notoriously poorly struck. And you can see a lot of little dinks, scratches, and everything on the face of a brand new coin right here. And I just, it just boggles my mind that you're, you know, now I will say that in 2023, they made a better product for sure. But the 2021s were not the greatest by any means. Um, but you make these these products that are, you know, not circulated they're just they're they're boom they're straight from a factory stamped down sent to our house and uh you know cookie cutter boom 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 and you want to charge crazy prices to your customers right your loyal customers and then give us garbage packaging by the way i mean the packaging is whatever but you know we want to see a little something we're paying extra money and we got to deal with just cardboard from china you know packaging from china uh just lame lame <laughs> not even like the the old clamshells at least i mean it's just cardboard packaging <sighs> anyways just expect it expect to be charged you know more for for basically less <laughs> i mean i just don't understand it but listen what i want you to do what this psa is really 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 about is many of you are completionists right i'm that person too but this time i'm gonna sit out and watch the 2024s fly away because I, I'm just not doing it, right? I'm, I'm drawing a line in the sand and I'm not stepping over and I'm staying on my side and I'm watching the United States men stay on their side and I, I'm, not, I'm not buying it. I'm not doing it because of that darn price increase, which I think is crazy. But anyways, if you are doing it, if you're a completionist and you, it's your money, you do whatever you want. If you say spectacular, I'm not, I'm not on this you know, boat with you right here. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna sail this journey with you. I totally get it. Like, you know, you're on your own journey. It's your money. Do whatever you want. I'm not trying to force you or trying to say, you know, we're, we're making some kind of stand, you know, Braveheart style. No, do what you want, right? Do whatever you want. I'm telling you what I'm doing, period. I'm telling you what's actually happening, period. 
But I would like you to do this, right? If you're getting your coinage and you're looking it over and there's some problems, you know what I mean? Like some scratches or something like that. Again, these are brand new coins from the United States Mint, a high, highly respected mint, a high level mint. Uh, these coins should be darn near perfect. And if they're not, what you should do as a consumer who's now paying an extra $15 for these uncirculated coins, you need to go ahead and return them and ask for something that looks better, for sure. Don't be stuck with something, right? Just because you're a completionist. Make sure you're getting something that looks nice. Because one day, you're going to have to sell these things. And if they have a, a mintage of, what, 270000 or 275000 whatever it is, you're going to want to make sure that your coin is competing nicely against the other people that are trying to sell that to make some money, for sure. If there ever becomes that time. Um, you know, this was a nice set. I, I'll be honest. Forget about the terrible packaging, whatever. The reverse proof was wonderful and they actually did a good job minting these in my opinion um, there might be some out there that had some uh, negatives when it came to the uh, look of their coin the scratches dinks whatever the case may be mine was in good shape and mostly i got positive reviews from the community on those so but listen if you have a problem with yours and you're paying this extra price now for uh, less than perfection definitely consider returning it you know, it's something that the United States Mint does offer as returns and uh, take advantage of that. But you won't see me buying this one right here. You won't see the video of the unboxing of the 2024 unless I'm filming somebody else doing it. Uh, won't be me. Won't be me. I'm very embarrassed that this is my mint trying to get more money for less, uh, trying to say that we have to pay over $90 for less than an ounce of silver. Uh, it's, it's very ridiculous. And I know the price of everything has gone up, but the justification from the United States meant being because silver prices only have gone up. That's all they've said. Silver prices are going up. We have to charge more. Silver prices have only gone up a few dollars, right? Why are they charging us an extra $15 from last year? That math does not work. That justification does not work. It is an actual lie, right? It has to be because it's not making sense. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's my rant. That's my rant. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your coins right there in spite of my rant. Uh, I'm just frustrated. I think a lot of people are frustrated with the direction the United States Mint has been taking. Um, you know, some of these coins or uh, these future projects appealing to uh, very, very tiny uh, minorities uh, focusing on people's personal um, desires in the bedroom, if you will, you know, rather than a uh, history of America, right? Uh, you know, black history, white history, uh, Asian history, it's all American for sure, right? But we don't need the, the bedroom stuff to be involved, which, again, I shake my head. If you took that poll from the United States Mint, they wanted to know, hey, do you want to see this stuff? The LGBTQTQ plus exclamation mark hashtag. You want to you want to see that stuff in your in your coinage? Why is that even a question? Why is that stuff a question at all? That's I shake my head. I really really do shake my head. Old spectacular, the silver spectacular. Uh, I got my sword up right here. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Let me know down in the comments what your plan is. I know again many of you completionists are like I don't know what to do right now. Do whatever you want. It's your money. At the end of the day, that's your money. Do what you want. You're a big boy, big girl, whatever the case is. Um, and that's it. That's all I'm going. I'm going one of the two. You're either a big boy or a big girl. That's spectacular. The Silver Stacular saying that. I got to go for now. Appreciate you for watching. Spectacular is out. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school, and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit, and I'm going to start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.